so one interesting thing we see already is that we will have clear and nice weather during practice sessions and qualifying but the race will be in the wet this is um i think the first race will will have in the wet so that's interesting because we've not had a lot of practice with it it's also always tough when the practice sessions and the qualifying are different weather than the race of course um Yeah, I think the first one is always the best to get to know the track a bit better. I move the microphone a bit. I hope that's not too loud. Okay, give us some good consistent laps, please. We're looking for good data that we can work into a race strategy. I might be a bit rusty because the only F1 23 I've played was in uh, my other single player. Where I'm actually still playing through the F2 championship, so the cars handle quite differently. So I think the Australian track is not the most difficult one. It has some tricky parts especially in the final sector. But I hope we get through without incidents. Is the game loud enough? Because now we are um, trying at full speed, so I guess then it should be the loudest, right? Maybe one more. I'm excited for a wet race. Anything can happen in a wet race. Um, ooh, I missed that breaking zone. Especially if we have some specialists in the wet, which we are definitely not, because maybe it's just me, but it feels like uh, F1 doesn't like to, or the F1 games don't like to course uh, rainy weather we barely made it This lap's better. Ocon doesn't set a better lap time than us, but he's also on hearts. I think the Alpine, in theory, should be better than our car. We haven't made much improvements yet, and I think we start out with maybe the worst. Oof, or the second worst car. Ooh, that's horrible. I'm gonna retry that corner. Because I need to learn it properly. what I meant with there's a couple of tricky corners on this lap and this is definitely one of them because it's a really important one because it's right before the, the straight where the finish is if you mess that up then you don't carry a lot of speed through this entire section so you will lose a lot of time It's not always on 
taking the corners the fastest way possible, I think, but also carrying a lot of speed through the corners. This is also a tricky part. You can easily uh, mess it up and then get stuck in the gravel. bit late on the brakes, which is fine. Mess it up again. But we are increasing our pace, I think. That's important. Uh, okay, we completed this test, so we can just go back to the garage and try one of the other ones. Um, let's do this first. And F122, it would place gates in um, the turns. It probably does the same here. That lets you get a good feeling of how the turns work. There's definitely more oversteer in the F1 cars and in the F2 cars in this game. See so what we need to do now is we need to get through all the gates with ideally high speed as possible. Oh, we got that one still. We missed that one somehow. Especially in the third sector, I think these are important to get to know the track. Yeah, I missed that one. Let's retry. Now the tricky part. Don't turn on the brakes, but I think that's fine. Now here, very early on the brakes, so we don't mess this one up this time. Perfect. I think we got all of the gates, and we set a decent time on the hearts. We didn't get a oops fast first sector though. Let's see if we improve, can improve on the first sector. Not like that now. Okay, let's just return to garage.
And last thing I want to do is qualifying base. This is a real test of what the qualifying would feel like. So ideally, we would, we would set our own fastest lap, of course. We're gonna leave some space between the person in front, I don't know who that is, I think it's an Alpha Tauri. Here we go, full on the throttle. Not great for the Delta. Let's see if we can make up some time. Famous clean laps again, I see. Thank you. I thought my famous clean laps were the ones where I use the wall. Okay, we are definitely not on pace. We are missing over a second. Run too wide, too late on the brakes. We pass people too, they stop dead on the track. What do you mean? He just went to the side so to let us pass because we were doing a fast lap and they weren't. I don't know why we lack so much in pace. I mean, I don't have as much grip as I would like. That was bad. That will be a bad start of the lap, I think. I think I can restart the training program now. Oh, it doesn't matter. Try again. With this space. I can't go faster than this. I messed that up entirely. I'm gonna try the training program. I don't know. Why I, I I'm I don't have the pace. Not too late on the brakes here. Try to carry a lot of speed through. You can see on the lines on the ground where we lack pace. And somehow here in this sort of straight now really, we lack a lot of pace because it's red, but it's just flat out. So 
so maybe our car just isn't good enough to actually reach the time we need. I mean, probably not. I mean, if you put a better player in this car, then they would definitely get it, though. But especially the final corner, I keep messing up. This is what happened to you, and then I start to make more and more mistakes trying to go faster. Yeah. But I think also I have the fastest lap, no? I have the fastest lap by almost a second. We're going to be logging some extra data during this session. Nothing you need to worry And I still want to improve by over a second. I think there's someone right behind me, no? I thought I heard it. Another car. No, there's no one behind me. All the lines are red. Try to stay on track. This is a flat out. This is all flat out. It's all red. I think with the difficulty setting I set, I don't think I can make it. Not with this car. I think this was a good lap, though. But do we have a 120? Well, program over, but that wasn't much help to us, I'm afraid. We need to run it again. Look at that. The projected result is 22nd with this. I think we'll get 22nd with a 120 point, whatever it was. Um... With a one twenty point twenty-five? No, that was not the fastest lap I did. Ah, uh, not the last lap I did, but hmm. just sell out with all the ads on the car, use the money to upgrade it. Yeah, we don't have any ads on the car, it's true. But there's also the... Iceman. Um, there's also um, the cost cap involved, right? So, it used to be sort of like that in Wheel of One, you would just... The, the biggest manufacturers with the most money would just make the best cars. That makes sense, right? Um... But that doesn't happen anymore. Um, well, it kind of still does. But it's not supposed to, though. Um, because of the cost cap. Everyone is allowed this amount. Is it 150 million? I don't know. I don't remember. Out of my head. Oh. I'm going to check what difficulty I put in. On 80, I should be able to make that. I think um, strategy I will do is um, the uh, soul-like strategy of uh, get good. Yeah, I think get good would. Uh, I think get good would help. Anyway, we did all the other things, right? We just hit not put a good uh, projected qualifying lap. Um, 
what was it a 120.25 i'm curious i'm curious where that would actually place us in the qualifying 120.25 i think it was can i still see i don't think i can find out what i did i think it's a 120.25 so try to remember that in any way the race is going to be in the wet so that will be interesting on itself and uh, i think project the time probably doesn't take that into account yeah skip practice three because we did all the things Uh, Frederick is not doing well on the development boosts, but at least he's trying, I hope. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what a slacker. Well, I mean, he is also still a rookie. An F2 driver. Um, a great F2 driver, though. Don't get me wrong, but, uh, and still higher than you. Yeah, he started with the higher um, rating, whatever it's called. He started at one, and he started at six. Uh, yeah, seems fine. Okay, just don't mess up this lap. Car feels so much better in qualifying. Yeah. Way more grip. <laughs> and then I lose it in the corner anyway. I wonder how they actually simulate the one-off qualifying. If they um, simulated that the track is clean or that other people already have done their lap and uh, that you're that it's full of rubber, so you have a lot more grip. And the track is a bit warmer and stuff. Interesting, I think Lewis had the fastest first sector, and then Verstappen took over in the second sector. This is the final real corner. This makes or breaks our run. A bit of oversteer because of the curb. And uh, Hamilton P1, and we get P15, I think. Engineer's not gonna say anything. With qualifying finished, it's time to okay, we. Once again of our top three. Hamilton, Verstappen, and Oof. Where are we? 120. Um, I think it's a. At least our teammate beats Logan Sargent and Nick de Vries. Um, I think our qualifying pace lap we said in the practice session was at 120.25, so that would put us right between Renault and Gasly, so P9. Uh, this is the worst result we've had, so um, this will be a tough race, but it's in the wet. Anything can happen. Maybe what did happen is that other people um, got some upgrades.